number one, I don't agree that one day they will be combined into one. They will be discovered to be combi have com to have combined already. What is re the reality that cannot change? If the field is unified, it is unified even today, whether man knows it or not. So to say that uh, one day they would combine together, that is wrong. Yes. One day they may be may have may be discovered to be acting in a unified field. So the fact is that the Holy Quran claims the unity of God and claims that everything revolves round God that is a, an indivisible entity. Just single God and everything emanates from Him. So if everything emanates from Him, the Holy Quran tells us it emanates in a way that when He says kun fayakun, He says be and lo it is, it is not what is the Holy Quran says, what the Holy Quran says as Bible does. It is an improvement on this statement in so far that it says kun fayakun. He says be and it begins to be. While it takes perhaps millions of years or even billions of years to reach the summit, the ultimate purpose of its creation. But as far as the beginning is concerned, that is immediate. There is no distance between Allah's will and the beginning of the thing. So that will is the first, is the only force known to the Holy Quran. And ultimately, all researches must lead to that. That there is an emanation of some power, some force, which through its own development, acting in various situations, takes different shapes and gets divided up into perhaps four apparent forces. But not only that, why to limit the number to four? Because the present human experience knows only four forces, fundamental forces working, while the Holy Quran tells us that there is a possibility of more than four forces working. Because it speaks of angels having four fundamental powers. And angels are the agencies of running the affairs of the universe. And also it speaks of angels having double that number, that is eight instead of four wings. And the wings, according to the Arabic word used in the Holy Quran, and by the termin according to the terminology of the Holy Quran, is a word for a property an attribute, and not the, the wing which you observe, because it also says uh, about uh, um, the parents that when they grow old, the children should uh, um, lower their wing of mercy over them. So the mercy is a quality, not a material wing. The word wing, the same word is used there too. So when we read about the wings of angels, it is in the context of the Holy Quran's own terminology, not in the context of the fairy tales. So when Allah speaks of four wings generally, that means according to the general observation, the, four, the one single force of kun is further subdivided into four fields. But that is a limited statement. It may be extended into eight fundamental things, fundamental fields. And uh, so there are possibilities not only of squeezing into one, but spreading out into more. And as far as uh, the creation of God is concerned, man has uh, only reached the, uh, uh, just the outer boundaries of knowledge, the periphery. It is still trying to break the outer surface and deep, go deep into the meanings of things. Although man uh, claims to be on the summit of knowledge, some people stupidly do that, yet the reality is not so. The reality is that man of every age <coughs> looks back at the sum total of the knowledge of the people who have passed before him. And because they knew little compared to him, so 
so he always looks down because a relativity is created between his knowledge and the knowledge of the past people but after 100 years or so maybe the people of that age would be looking down at our knowledge as just preliminary you know just the elementary as uh, dr watson what's what's his name sherlock holmes companion watson. watson dr watson is known to have expressed uh, his opinion in the word elementary after sherlock holmes explained but not before that <laughs> so this knowledge which we have today of which we take so much pride would appear to to the future generations to be just elementary nothing more so what would be their attitude to 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 god and to the fields and uh, to the unification and things we don't know maybe they discover many other forces in nature working fundamentally of which man has no knowledge and maybe they understand the unified field much better than uh, your brother is trying to do today